And hello from the Midlands of England. The venue for this match is Villa Park. I'm Derek Ray, joined by Lee Dixon in the commentary position. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Aston Villa up against West Bromwich Albion. Well, thank you, Derek. Glorious atmosphere here. Really looking forward to it. The fans are too. The players look like they're up for it. This could be end to end. We could get goals today, Derek. Matt Target. Grealish. Mbe Dianya. And it's with Maitland Niles. Well, as far as the visitors are concerned, it is an exceptionally leaky defence and something they're going to have to address, Lee. Well, Derek, these away fans can't complain about the amount of goals they see. The trouble is their shambolic defence is the root of most of them. Let's see if they can improve today. Tighten it up a little bit. I hope so. And a creative look about this. They do pass the ball with authority. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. And the poor touch didn't help them on the possession front. Wonderfully weighted pass. Great opportunity. Oh, it's in! The opening goal in the derby. And listen to what it means. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. And then a 2v1, both of them teasing the goalkeeper. That really is a lovely worked goal. Well, the manager's showing signs of frustration. They need to improve if they're going to get something out of this game, Derek. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Gallagher. And he did well to cut it out. Jack Grealish. Esri Konsa. John McGinn. And fed forwards. Chance here. Tremendous block. Oh, a vital interception. Can he find the net? Keeper getting the touch. And the referee's verdict is penalty kick. Well, a judgment call for the referee. Many an official would have cautioned him. And he's missed it from the spot. Good heavens. Well, we've all been there. I don't know if you have, Derek, but I have. And he's missed. And it's a terrible, terrible chance to let go. There's a good reason why I haven't been there, Lee. And he's broken free. Tenacious tackling. Excellent defending there. Phillips. And it's with Maitland Niles. Showing patience. Looking for the equaliser. And it's in! All square again. What a match this is turning out to be. Well, as we can see, if a striker is free in the box and the great ones just stand still, they know chances will come in that position and he wasn't disappointed.
Well, the goal again, albeit from a different angle. Well, the earlier goal cancelled out, one apiece. Okai Yokushlu. Mateusz Pereira. And moving the ball nicely. It's with Yokushlu. Now potential danger. They've only gone and grabbed another one. Two goals in quick succession. Now they have the lead. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, here it is again. The through ball is perfectly timed. It causes havoc. And when he gets through to the keeper, he just smashes it past him and gives him no chance to think. A lovely finish. Well, 2-1 it is here. John McGinn. Esri Consa. It's with Douglas Luis. McGinn. McGinn. Tyrone Mings. It's with Douglas Luis. What about the stoppage time situation? Two minutes the word. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Traore. Couldn't keep it. And with that, the first half draws to a close. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. O'Shea. And it's with Maitland-Niles. Okai Yokushlu. Connor Gallagher. Darnell Furlong. Read it well. Jack Grealish. McGinn. Now the attack looks promising. John McGinn. This looks promising. It's with Douglas Luis. Barkley. Real danger. Well, can they open up the defence here? Douglas Luis. Barkley. Alas, a wild, wild attempt. Well, after that effort, I'm not sure whether he's right or left footed. Aston Villa, possession, tick that box. But it's just whether they can convert that possession into clear-cut chances. You sense they need to pick up the pace a little. Start utilising the wide areas more. The back line's doing a decent job. Hopefully the forwards can do that as well. Well, they continue their push for the equaliser, but definitely not forcing it. Barkley. Well, that's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. Did well to win the ball back. And 
The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. Well, that's a well-timed pass. Sanson. And will it be the leveller? Well, as he hit that one, it looked as though it had a chance. Substitution for West Bromwich Albion coming off the pitch. Number 10, Matt Phillips to be replaced by number 23, Robert Snodgrave. We're now inside the final 20 minutes of the game. Barkley. McGinn. Traore. Moving the ball nicely, looking for that final pass. This could square the game. Terrific block there. Perfect example of how to put in a tackle. And a corner will be next. Well, the crowd are doing their bit. Can the players do theirs? They need an equaliser. And he's fired over the corner. And a goal! Real excitement here. The equaliser. Well, here it is again, ball into the box from the corner and finishing like that with a lovely headed goal. It's absolutely superb. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? Well, another equaliser. What a topsy-turvy game this has been. Just ten minutes to go. Mateusz Pereira. Well, they still have designs on the win. Okai Yokushru. Mbe Dianya. Conor Gallagher. It's with Yokushlu. And space to cross it. Snodgrass. Maitland Niles. Superbly read and executed. Traore. This might be ideal for the counter. Barkley. Traore. Can he finish? A goal! Late excitement! How about that? Well, I think the players realise what they owe this coach. Lovely sight to see them celebrating with him. Well, here we can see it again, and no wonder the manager is furious. They just have to get tighter, have to deal with the danger. Not good enough at all defensively. And that is that. Well, a tale of woe in terms of the scoreline as far as the visitors are